Hey there everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Tooie. In the last episode we got kinda lost here in that Target Sands temple. But we are going into the um, really secret chamber now, I believe it's called. I forgot what it's called. Yeah, it's a really sacred chamber. Look Banjo, there's another Jiggy. This is just too easy. Yup, we'll have the game finished in no time. Uh oh, door closes behind us. Music change, giant guy popping up in front of us. Halt, mortal. You thought you'd get another jiggy that easily, eh? Target San, the spotted dizzy totem god. <laughs> so this is our first boss. I am Target San, mighty Mayan god of target shooting. Prepare to meet thy dart hidden doom. Wait, I think I messed that up. Oh well, what you're supposed to do is just hit these targets on, that are uh, on him. And once you do that, he'll spawn a bunch of enemies. Uh, where are you? Ah, there you are. Now he's gonna, like... Uh, now on the second row, you'll have this things that, that thing that shoots those darts at you. What you want to do is strafe in order to dodge those. It is really hard to dodge those if you don't know how to strafe. Uh, you can strafe by by pressing the uh, left and right C buttons. I obviously fail at it. Don't hit me. Yeah, see that's the best way to dodge those if you manage to do that. Or you can just like hide behind those I guess, but it's just supposed to hit him. That wouldn't really work too well, I figure. On to the next row, more darts. But he's almost done. And there we go. Some more enemies and then we should be done with this boss battle. It's not really that hard. No, you've beaten me. Now suffer as I invoke my sacred self-destruct. And what he does is he's basically gonna shoot out eight darts at the same time. All you have to do is just hide behind one of those. Or just dodge it, it's not really that hard. And for that we get a Jiggy, which is number five for this world, I believe. So let's get out of here. And continue on with um, Maya Ham Temple there. Because we spent way too much time in here. I hope I still remember my way back. Should be this way. There we go. No, wait. We're not there yet. What am I talking about? We should be getting close though, I'm pretty sure. There we go. And we are done in here. <laughs> Glad that's over. That's probably my least sa favorite section of the world. I really don't like these first person sec sections. Because I have to make them into complicated mazes and make you do a whole bunch of crazy stuff. And for some reason I can never remember my way around in them. It's really annoying. So we're back out here in the uh, main world, I guess. The main world of uh, Mayahem Temple. Oh crap, we still have to do that as well. Um, I'm kind of debating whether I should, what I should do first. I think I should go to that uh, door we kicked open as a statue. I don't know why I'm not just using Talonsworth form to move faster. I'm brain farting here. No, don't do that. We're just gonna go over here so we can get our last move for this world and then um And that ginger that we saw. And there's also some nice stuff we can do here. Something that's new to this game as well. You'll see what I mean in a minute. And now let me actually show one of these. You've collected a skill stop honeycomb. 
Press B to stop your energy bar as close to the top as possible. So it's pretty easy, especially because these are kind of slow. And I think I've already shown one of these, I'm not sure. I think I didn't, but you, we can get to that Jinjo, by the way, until we get this first. Listen up to what you're told on the edges. You, <coughs> you can now hold, move along with the greatest of ease, button B to attack what you please. I fail at, I fail at that today, why can I not do that? I mean, it's not like I usually don't fail at singing. <laughs> But yeah, we can grab onto ledges now, which is an ability I really wish I had in the first game, because it would it would have been so useful. These guys, you can try to talk to them, but it's not really any use. <laughs> we will be able to later though. And we have another warp point over here, so let's activate that. And let's go over to the other side I think I could go in there but I feel like doing this first that door over there you could have kicked that open with the statue I choose I chose to not kick that open with the statue because you're not supposed to go there yet and even if you do get in there there's nothing you can do so we'll have to we'll have to um, save that for another time but we can get up here make sure you go to this uh, corner that doesn't have those uh, wrenches on it and you have to sneak and I kinda messed that up thought you'd steal slumber's gold while he slept didn't you well yes to be honest <laughs> but I heard you coming clumsy bear ah oh well Splendid, they seem to have gone. Must get some more sleep. You are one lazy snake. But also, uh, this this little like color change on the wall here, you can actually grab onto that. And watch out for those things, because they are gonna like attack you once you... Okay, can I hit those things now? I don't want them messing me up while I'm doing this. As you can see, this leads to a Cheeto page. That I do want to get. And when you get to the end, just press B and you'll. No, not press B. Wait, what button do I. You press C, not B. And with that, we get our second Cheeto page. We need three more before you can get a cheat. My commentary is getting sucky. So, yes, let's try this again and not mess this up this time. Dang it. You have to like push it just a little bit and this controller is so sensitive. We can do this. Luckily there's only two of these sections in the game where you have to do this. Please don't mess me over, controller. And there, and with that we get that Jiggy, finally. As you can see, there's also something on the other side over there. I don't really think we have to go over there, though. Or we might have. But... There seems to be only a sign here, so... There wasn't really any point in doing that. Pressing the control stick only slightly will make you tiptoe silently. Yes, we already knew that. So, let's head back into the previous room and actually go to that place I was skipping. Now we got that Jiggy. Still a few more things we need to do in this world. And uh, I can think of most of them right now. So that's not really going to be that big of a deal. Make sure you pick up the globo behind here though. You don't want to miss this, but... If there's, an, if there's another globo, would there be another mumbo in this world? Well, actually not. 
Vicky, welcome to Little Bear and Bird. I'm Banjo, and my feathered friend is Kazooie. Me, Hamba Wamba, best magic person on island. We heard that Mumbo was the best. Not true, Mumbo amateur, Wamba best. You bring Globo magic creatures here. You have Globo, want to give it to Hamba? Yes, we do. And unlike, um, unlike in the first game, Wamba is the one doing the uh, transformations in this game. And for this world, she will transform us into a Stony. Wamba called a Stony. Use Control Stick to move and press B for Piggy Barge Attack. Just jump back in when Wamba pull one want to be Baron Bird again. This thing moves kind of slow. I don't really like it. There are there are transformations in this game that are kind of cool, but this one I don't really. Nah, I don't really like this one very much. So the first thing we need to do is we want to warp back to the uh, entrance. Because as you might remember, there was an empty honeycomb over there. But we couldn't get to it. Well, you can get it as a stony, so... Let's get that. And that is our first empty honeycomb. This is an extra honeycomb piece. Yes, we already knew that. God, it was the first time he was gonna say that. Uh, it might be faster to just walk to Mumbo's place from here. And go to that next place from over there. We are gonna enter a new area of, May of Mayhem Temple here. I walked through the wrong one. How did I do that? That was kinda silly. Uh, that wasn't really any faster. Oh well. Right there is where we uh, want to go. That other door we kicked open as a statue. Because there's something you need to do there as a stony. Which is why I waited. Uh, first of all... Welcome to the prison compound. Let, first of all, let's op let me open up that warp point. Well, screw you. I'm trying to like... Oh my god, stop hitting me. You know what? Screw you. I'm just gonna activate that warp point and get out of here. You're just being a jerk. We can talk to this Stony right now. To free the trap one, a star must appear before the sun rises. Another star appears, followed by two moons. Does that help? I think so. I'm pretty sure that code is randomized. It's something you need to do over there, but we can't do that as a stony. We need to come back as Banjo and Kazooie. But you need to get that code as a stony, and like I said, it's randomized on every game, so... Or at least I think it is. Last time I got a different code, I know that. So we'll head over to the last place we need to head to as a stony and also that's where our last warp point for this world is going to be and that's also where I'm going to end off this video because I don't have time for this in this episode. Also I might as well grab the honey over there. I love how the music changes as you approach this place. <laughs> And I think there's also a Jinjo up there. I need to take care of that in the next episode. Hope I don't forget. <laughs> so we can talk to this guy. I'm Banjo the Stony. Can I come in and play? Hmm, I don't know. That backpack looks kind of familiar. Are you saying we're a barren bird in an elaborate disguise? Trying to cheat our way in? Yep, it's pretty obvious. But they're a bit short on players, so you might as well go in anyway. Yeah, if you come here as just Banjo and Kazooie, he won't let you in, so... And we are now in the Mayan Kickball Stadium. And this is where our last war point is. This, I'll explain what this is in the next episode. Or actually, I might just as well explain it right now. These lead to different worlds. In this game, some of the worlds are interconnected, and it's really awesome. This leads to World 7, I believe. So we'll be able to come back here much, much later in the game. But for now, that's all we're going to have time for. In the next episode, we'll take care of the uh, kickball stadium stuff. And we'll make some more progress in Mayhem Temple. Until then, 
Thanks for watching and I hope to see you later.